Hello everyone and welcome back to Habzix Plays Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition on Insanity. And today we're going to start by checking our email before launching into our next little section. Uh, looks like we got uh, four, so let's go ahead and take a look. This is from Bryn Cole's Crucible Update. Dear Commander Shepard, thank you again for all you did to get our group off that facility on Jellix. Admiral Hackett is an amazing man and it's a privilege to work under him. The construction of the Crucible is presenting its challenges, but my team and I are determined to crack its mysteries. Although I never rely on luck, in this instance, I fear we may need a little. Stay safe, Commander. I hope our paths cross again. Sincerely, Dr. Bryn Cole. Um, next up is an email from Jacob. Citadel Meetup. Hey, Shepard. The Crucible project is intense. Bryn and the others are on it around the clock. Pretty soon I'll have to make a run to the Citadel to pick up some equipment at the hospital. If you've got time, want to meet me there. Things were so crazy on Jellix, it'd be good to see you in a quieter place, you know? Hope to see you around. Jacob. Okay, I guess I'll do that. Um, Headed for the front line from Samara. Shepard, I finished my business on Lessus. I would offer to travel once again with you on the Normandy, but the code dictates I join the fight where it is most dire. Uh, of course, that's the bullshit reasoning. All right. While you do your essential work, I will do my best to help hold the front. Before I depart, I'll return to the Citadel for a short time to prepare. If it does not interfere with your duties, come find me there. Samara. Okay. Um, sorry, squad ready. From Corrine Lemus. Commander Shepard, as of an hour ago, a sorry high command has assigned my squad to support you. We will ride with the second fleet until it's time to deploy. If you'll allow me a personal note, I knew a few of the commandos who went down to that monastery. Nothing will bring them back, but hearing that that place went up in smoke is the only good news I've heard in weeks. Ready to serve, Captain Corrine Lemus. Okay. Well, we are going to get to the Citadel, and I guess I'll go ahead and turn a couple things in while I'm there, because I'm not sure how far I'm going to make it, because the main focus of what we're going to be doing for the next couple episodes is getting to the Leviathan DLC. That's right, I'm launching into another DLC. I, I might be misremembering so i'm sorry if i'm getting this wrong but i believe it was the first like major gameplay dlc that mass effect 3 released i actually remember when it came out my roommate and i were both big mass effect fans at the time and he actually got to play it first because he had a little bit lighter of a semester than i did that year or at least that semester a little bit lighter load of a semester let me say it that way which allotted him time to actually play this Citadel DLC before I even got the chance to start it, even though it was my Xbox. Because we both were, well, we were playing on my 360 at the time. But for now, we're going to go ahead and go to the Alliance docks. I'm going to turn a couple things in, and then we're going to get started on that, because I always feel this one does work really well right after the coup, after Dina's coup attempt. It's, I don't know, even though it did come out first, I always just feel it blows better to go ahead and just knock out Omega and save this one. Plus, it helps that I actually kind of like... Okay, get on the Waykeeper. It helps that I kind of like this one. I mean, I know I like it more than the Omega DLC. That's a very low bar, though, because I liked Zaid more than Omega DLC, and that was my previous last place DLC. But I'm excited to revisit this one just because I don't think about it all that often. I, I always... I think I remember enjoying it every time I do play it. I just don't think I really put a lot of thought into this one but it'll be fun i just got to turn all this other shit in and then i can get started on that and i hopefully it won't take as long as omega did i i don't think it will i'd be surprised if it did i'll put it that way okay where's samara oh there she is she's standing ah she's standing on the opposite side of everyone else no no no, no yes thank you i hoped you'd come i won't remain here much longer well i'm glad i made it what are you doing on the citadel samara I suppose I came to say goodbye. Faler is safe, and Rila is at rest. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. You I do have some dead eyes in this scene. No one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. Thank you. It is an honor. We'll make the galaxy proud. The largest fleet in history is already on our side. It is impressive. Most would have deemed such an alliance. Well, hang out with me and Liar for like an hour. But Shepard. It would be like 59 be sure minutes to cuddling. Your forces strengths and weaknesses before setting out. Well, have fun. Good luck out there, Samara. You as well. 
I don't know if you believe in such things. But goddess, go with you, Shepard. We'll both be tested. I'm pretty life. sure so when I was talking to Ashley, I said that my Shepard believed. I don't remember. It's been... Oh, fuck. I guess it's been like a year since then. Jeez. Ugh. It's taken me a year to play three games. Well, I guess I've played... Been playing other games, too. Uh... No, I've already talked to you guys. Do you like the beats, though? Might as well check all five, six. I keep wanting to say five. The double docks is what throws me off. Oh, yeah, and I have that to turn in, too. Cool. I'll stop and see you on the way out, Jacob. Do we have any upgrades? Nope. Oh. <laughs> yes, Jacob. Hi. That is lagging really bad right now. I don't know why. I think it's just in the recording, too. Okay, so this episode might be a little laggy, everybody. Sorry about There's that. To be something. I don't know what Guess Cerberus it. was packing, but we're going to lose this patient. Okay, so I guess any chemical treatments or something? I'm looking for someone to give this poison to. Does anyone here want poison? Hey, you, do you want poison? I overheard what you said. Cool. I this at a Cerberus station. Poison tailored to Turians. Bun. <laughs> Do you like that the kind of implication is that Shepard's just eavesdropping on everyone in this game? Alright, will the lag stop, please? Thank hey, you. Hey, Shepard. I'm glad to see you. I know things are crazy right now. Exactly. So you have to take the moments when you can. <laughs> I should go. Um, How's Cole? It was interesting to meet Bryn. How is she? She's great, actually. It's good. Right, well, that's going on. I'm gonna distraction. try and fix the lag. Power. I think I know what's causing it. And you and her? We're we're having a baby, Shepard. Wow! Congratulations. Wasn't exactly planned, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna be a better father than mine was. Do the whole thing right. It's uh. <laughs> One more thing to fight for. You got that right. Bryn wants to name it after you. Really? Shepard? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shepard. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to talk her out of it. No offense. That's fine. <laughs> None taken. Good. I should go. I'm glad we had time to talk. Me too. Got to take the moments when you can. So true. And Shepard, thanks again for getting my people out alive. You're welcome. Take care, Jacob. You too, Shepard. I'm thinking about you out there. Stay safe. Did you get older? Okay, I'm gonna pause real quick and try and fix this goddamn lag. Okay, hopefully that did... Oh, it is running so much better for me. If it was laggy in the recording, I'm apologizing now. Um, but... We will go to... Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, shoot, I didn't go all the way up to the top. Gotta go back up. Got distracted by that stupid lag and no, thinking I might have messed this one up, but, you know, I'm probably not going to re-record it. Really? Because I just don't have the time. I, I, not having the backlog anymore, I can't go back and just re-record things like I used to. Hello, I did not get an email from you, Miranda. I'm going to go see Miranda. And I guess I can check with my girlfriend while I'm here. And then... And then launch into... Yeah, I guess we're not going to make it too far in Leviathan, but that's okay. I mean, I took, I think, five, maybe six episodes on Omega, so we'll see. I did not get your email, but hi. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Don't you fucking lie to her, Shepard. I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. I do trust you. You'll have your access, Miranda, but I don't like the sound of this. I know, and thank you. It means a lot. That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? No. I need to tell you something. Okay. Confess, really. We're sisters, I knew it's it. Been eating away at me. You love me, I knew it. Confess. When I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safe. Lucas Man probably should have let you do that. I think you mentioned this. I did. There's more to it. The elusive man stopped me. That was dumb on his part. I understand why you wanted to. 
I was a complete unknown. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me. Right I don't know if I pointed this out in the last game, but I do kind of like that the After fingers of my glove are back to white. I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. Do you have one? Yeah, she has just one stray hair just poking yeah, out. That is more fake looking than anything else. This is what's been bothering you? Yes. Miranda, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I should have made my own shepherd between Shrug games and made it seem like, yeah, we just messed up. Thanks. Sorry. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. Thanks, but okay. I meant up. to say that's okay and then went with thanks. So with don't. thanks. But this was important. So are you. you. just don't have control over. Did you just, just touch her boob? Genetics can't help me there. No, they can't. Okay. I hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard. Of course. I like to watch you walk Good away, Miranda. Miranda. This thing you have to do. Good luck. Be safe. Don't worry, Shepard. I always have a plan. Good. And I guess I'll go talk to Liara now. Hey, four Paragon, that's fun. God, this looks so much better without that lag I was dealing with. I had... I was working on some stills for my channel, and I still had Photoshop running in the background, and that is what was lagging. Because they're pretty large file sizes, and I just think my computer was saying no. I don't have the best computer. Hello, who's arguing? Start selling weapons to everyone on the Citadel. C-Sec will shut this whole place down. Worried one. Would a bunch of civilians shooting at anything that moves make the Citadel safe? Exactly. All right, what's up? Hello, Shepard. Okay, now we're going to go to the... <laughs> going to go and do the Leviathan deal. So at least get it started. We're not obviously not going to do it all in a day. I think I should be able to finish it a little bit quicker than Omega. I'll be a little surprised if I can't. Though Omega, I think I also started at the very beginning of an episode. So I'm already going to be a little bit less time than I need to be because I've used like eh, half the time I typically use. Though I guess I'm cutting a couple minutes out here and there from the intro as well as my trying to fix the lag. Alright, let's go to... Hey, I like that. Yeah, I can't even go to the apartment to right, but I can go to the lab. And now we're going to see the texture updates, upgrades, I guess, because of this game coming out, or I guess the DLC coming out like a year later. So we made things look a little bit better. And even though there's a remaster, we didn't keep the consistency. Hello, slightly better outfit. I want you to match this against all known locations and update the map. Then contact the field teams for a progress report. Yes, sir. Oh, Commander Shepard. We've been expecting you. Just a moment. And Hadley, could you gather the Leviathan data for us? Apologies, Commander. The rest of my team is out investigating leads right now. Well, at least there's two of you I'm here. Dr. Garrett Bryson, and this is Task Force Aurora. Hey! That's a cool task force name. Our mandate is to investigate... It's my dog's name, actually. Rumors, old stories about the Reapers before anyone knew they existed. Uh, yeah, is that necessary? It's an interesting goal, but is anyone doubting the Reapers exist these days? The Alliance is still desperate for intelligence. Reaper motives, their operational tactics. Anything that can give us an edge. Then how did you wind up in charge? When the rest of the galaxy says something doesn't exist, I take that as a chance to prove that it does. <laughs> so you believe me for a while now. For the truth. Even as late as 2148, humanity still thought aliens were a myth. That was within my lifetime. Once that myth oh, that would be reality, weird. I didn't think about that. History changed. Reapers were part of that reality, too. But even they have a history, Commander. If we could just uncover it, there may be a weakness we can exploit. You're not a squad mate. Alliance resources are stretched pretty thin. Is this really worth the time? 
Just imagine if this task force had existed three years ago when you discovered the Prothean Beacon. This whole war might We could have delayed it. No, it would have happened. We just could have delayed it a little longer. A breakthrough is near. Hadley, do you have the data? No! no. Oh. Shepard, you sure reacted a little faster. Huh. <laughs> this is Commander Shepard. I need CSEC at my location now. I don't know what the difference between that. Ooh. The darkness can be breached. Friends at Records show his name is Derek Hadley. He's worked here for a couple months. I do like the I monitored creepiness. Oh, hey, cat suit. Yeah, I mean, Edie. I'm fine, but I could use your help sorting. This Forgot out. you were here. <laughs> or that you Take came here. Their files. I need to know what this task force. I do like some of the creepy vibes Apple. they put into this DLC. It's kind of fun. What? I. Yeah, I don't remember what you do in the what's Paragon option happening? there either. Uh, what's happening? You're a murderer. You just shot your boss. He's dead. Why? After you arrived, it was dark, cold, like I was somewhere else. That one. Nope. Take a good look. You did that. Did not expect that, so I was taking a sip of coffee. No. No. I was going to make a comment about the dark and cold, but the, the moment's passed. No, I'm not a murderer. You're lying. I saw you pull the trigger. Then you tried to kill me. I swear, I didn't. No, you did. Commander, this does resemble reports of indoctrination. I don't want to hear about it, Edie. He killed him. I'm throwing the book at him. What about that Leviathan Bryson mentioned? How does that tie in? It's some kind of creature. Our field teams have been tracking it. That artifact came in from our researcher, Garneau. He sent an audio log if you want to... No. What's wrong? Turn back. What are you talking about? The darkness cannot be breached. Oh. We might have just killed him. Get him over to the clinic. See if they can tell us what's wrong with him. I'm not done interrogating him. Commander, you'll want to see this. It's an outgoing message from Dr. Bryson to Admiral Hackett. Okay. Dr. Bryson, do you have an update? Admiral, the Leviathan of Dis that we've been investigating? The Leviathan I of really Dis. Onto something. Give me the brief. About 20 years ago, the Batarians discovered a Reaper corpse that had died in battle. They covered it up and denied it ever existed. But I'm intrigued by the larger implication. What could have killed the Reaper in the first place? I mean, we did go to a derelict exactly. Reaper in the last That's game, the so we should have been questioning that, too. Worth pursuing. Continue your investigation and update me on the progress. There is also a follow-up message from a few weeks later. Admiral, the Reapers are shadowing my field teams as if they're hunting Leviathan themselves. Whatever it is, I believe Leviathan is nothing less than a Reaper killer. Okay. Almost an apex predator, and it has them nervous. If we could just find it, imagine the impact on the war. I'm formally requesting assistance in tracking it down. You'll have it. This is now your top priority, Doctor. Find that thing. It I mean, if it can help, that assistance. it does sound dangerous. Anything capable of killing a Reaper could do a lot of collateral damage. Yet, given the state of this conflict, I believe the saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, may be relevant. But we won't know unless we can find it. Bryson's assistant did say they recently received a log from their field researcher. It may yield more information. Is that the log right there? This must be the artifact the assistant mentioned. You could have hit play. And here's the log. <laughs> Dr. Bryson, it's Garneau. I'm sending you an artifact I found. About the only thing I found there, in fact. Maybe it's nothing, but... I'd swear Leviathan came through here. I'm gonna crunch some numbers. Burn up the rest of this project travel allowance. Maybe I can project our Reaper Killer's movements. I'll check in when I get to the next site. The Reaper Killer. Garno appears to be our best lead to track Leviathan, but he does not state a destination. Let's focus on what he does say then. He mentioned extrapolating Leviathan's path and crunching numbers. He wasn't flying blind. He had data. A significant amount of data, judging by this office. So how do we narrow it down? Bryson and his do the work. evidently used a galaxy map search program in their hunt for Leviathan. It may help us locate Garneau. Well, let's find the relevant information. Hello. Hi. One more time. 
<laughs> oh, that's so... Oh, whoa, that was a weird jump. All right, let's... Oh, no, I guess I gotta do this first, and then I can look at relevant information. Does this tell us where Garno went? Nope. No, but we may be able to narrow down his location if we find clues he was using in his search for Leviathan. And that opens the other door. I want you to scream again. <laughs> okay, I think there's like six things. Is this Prothean? Yes. I believe Dr. Bryson and Liara would have had much to discuss. Can you add a search filter for locations known to have Prothean ruins or artifacts? Adding the search filter, we may examine the results on the galaxy map program. Ah, uh, let's keep looking for other useful These things. These are all murders in which the accused lacked a known motive and claimed memory loss. Add it to the list. Just like Bryson's assistant. You think Garneau was following a trail of blackout crimes? It is possible. We need to find data matching dates and locations for crimes of this nature. Okay. Here's the time and date chart for Found the crimes. Found it. Can you filter for murders where the killer claimed memory loss? Adding this search filter to the galaxy map. All right. Looking for more filters. Uh, hello. No, I want to look at you. Look. No, Shepard, look. Thank you. Loch Ness Monster? Plesiosaur. Loch Ness Monster's more interesting. Yes, it is. Interesting and non-existent. Shut up, Edie. Uh, what's this? Sir, this is Bryson. We know the Reapers are after Leviathan. Studying Reaper hunting patterns could be vital to finding it. That data is classified top secret, Dr. Bryson. If it falls into the wrong hands... It won't. The data's encrypted. I'll keep the decryption key safe. Close to my heart. Ooh. Close to his heart. The hell does that mean? The Reaper fleet activity is encrypted. Per Bryson's statement in the log. Okay. He said he was keeping the decryption key close to his heart. So I gotta rip his chest open? Got it. Sovereign. Vanguard of our destruction. How's that working out for you, big guy? <laughs> oh, just gonna talk shit about him? What's this? Looks like data on the rack knife. Video log. March 7th, 2186. I'm looking at the rack knife. Their movements during the rack knife wars suggest alien influence. But the timing is wrong. And Rachni weren't in planet with Reaper Tech. They are now. Leviathan was preparing the Rachni to fight the Reapers. What do you think, Edie? It is possible that Bryson's team is using ancient Rachni fleet activity to find Leviathan. We saw a data pad containing data on Rachni movements earlier. It may be relevant. You mean that one? The Rachni data. Can you add a cross-reference for locations of sightings? Adding the search filter now. I wonder if this is his heart. Anne Bryson, age nine. Records indicate Anne is now 28. She works for the Alliance. Bryson was keeping the encryption key close to his heart. What's closer than family? An interesting hypothesis, but I detect no trace of the decryption key in this art. The Reaper fleet activity is Nope, included. okay, so it is so something Bryson's with her. Can I look at the back? He said he was keeping the decryption key close to Anne Bryson. Nine. Records indicate Anne okay, I looked at that. She works for the Alliance. Bryson was keeping the encryption ah, key close to it. his heart. What's closer than family? The Thorian, August 17th, 2185. The Thorian, a life form discovered on Pharos, provides fascinating insight into the life cycle of a truly alien species. Unlike conventionally intelligent life, it doesn't use mass relays. Prothean artifacts were not interested. Commander Shepard claims that Reaper enemies cultivated life to evolve along lines they could predict, using technology the Reapers controlled. The Thorian is an exception to that rule. It evolved to use organic tools rather than conventional technology. Leviathan must be somehow similar to have survived undetected for so long. The Thorian used pain conditioning to control its victims, using them as manual labor, or even as a man would use his own hands and fingers. Commander Shepard claims the Reapers do the same thing, through a different process called indoctrination. Whatever Leviathan is, it must do something similar. Okay. But you. Bryson Hello. Was unexplained creature sightings. Bryson was not merely tracking sightings. He was attempting to extrapolate a course. And Garneau could have been following that course. Edie, 
Can you add a search filter for systems along that projected path? Adding it now. I think I'm only missing the one. Oh, nope, I'm missing two. <laughs> Meteorite fragment, maybe? He was studying it as an object of importance. We should look more closely at a sample. Scope. Meteorite sample. Traces of element zero. Would Leviathan need Ezo? While it is not consumed as fuel during FTL travel, element zero will decay after several centuries of active use. If Leviathan is old enough, it would need to replenish its supplies. Okay. Can you give me a search filter for locations with element zero? Doing so now. Okay, we're getting close. Hello, upgrade. And I choked there for a second, but it's all right. Let's, oh, is there stuff out here that I can look at? Hello, green. A lot of greenery here, actually. Anything over here? Hello, upgrade. What over here? Is there an upgrade? Hello, upgrade. Cool. All right. So I just need to get this last piece of information. And then we're done with the lab for now. Let's, yeah, check out up here. How about this one? It's a different one. Another piece of Anne Bryson's childhood art. Wait a minute. Huh. <laughs> Take a look at that. <laughs> Dude, seriously. I use these numbers to construct a decryption key. All right. That's let's get back That to is the back. worst really? play to hide it. What kid is going to do that? I mean, well, actually no kids might do that. Hard. Never mind. Audio log. Don't care. Request. I'm clearing Task Force Aurora for intercepted Batarian communications regarding the Leviathan of Dis. All right. Let's look at this encrypted data. Analyzing data. These movements do not match the standard invasion pattern. The Reapers are searching for something. And I'll bet Garno used this intel. Can you make a search filter for it? Of course. All right. So now I can narrow down the location. Oh, okay. Uh, is that... Okay, so we're going to start with Reaper activities. Reaper activity... Based on the search results, Garno is in one of these five systems. It's if it's I right. Mark the Normandy map with possible locations. We can leave now, unless you wish to further narrow the search. Oh, we're gonna narrow it. Uh, Prothean activity, element zero, Rachna activity, blackout crimes could be good. We'll throw in blackout crimes. Blackout crimes. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Okay, so we'll take out the blackout crimes for now. And Five possible systems. We will throw in creature sightings. You mean sightings? Three possibilities. Okay, I like those numbers. Let's add Prothean activity? Prothean artifacts. Artifacts, not activity. Nope. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Let's remove the artifacts. Three possibilities. And we will throw in the Rachni. Rachni activity. Irrelevant. No results. Some of our search parameters may be irrelevant. Remove. Three possibilities. I know. I'm trying to get down the one. Blackout crimes didn't work. Creature sightings, I don't think. You know, creature sightings is in there. Uh, element zero. I th is that the only one I haven't used? The element zero? Element zero deposits. We have a match. Marking the galaxy map. Okay. Let's go find Garno. Cool. You want to scream again? See you, buddy. All right. We are going to return to the Normandy.
And even though it'll make for a shorter episode, I am going to call it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, feel free to like, subscribe, and share, and enable notifications so that we can stay up to date on content. Next time, we're going to go ahead and search for Garno and see how much further we can make it in the Leviathan story. But if this is your first time checking out any of my videos, go ahead and click the video there in the corner. I'll take you back to the beginning of Mass Effect 3. And if you like what you see, head on over to the video section where I have plenty of other great games and there's always more stuff coming down the pike. But in the meantime, I hope everybody stays safe and I will see you all next time.